Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. It is Saturday, I'm here at the San Clemente outlet because once again, it's time for the weekly South OC Cars and Coffee. Let's go check it out. The show is just getting started and cars are coming in right now. I see a nice Austin Martin. You see traffic being directed. Rules of causing coffee, no revving, no speeding, and no burnout. The violation gives you a lifetime ban. It's 007. Huh, nice, cool lesson plate. All right, causing coffee merchandise. Sarah, how you doing? Is he, is he, uh, how do you play? Robert, official photographer, how you doing? All right, I see a couple, I see a Pantera there, S2000. This really, really cool Celine Mustang. Now, this is not a wrap. This is actually this is actually, this is an actual paint job. At first, I thought it was a wrap, but no, this is paint. Really, really cool how it changes colors, colors like that. Ah, check out the West Coast Custom Mustang. Another Mustang. And over here, we got the uh, Comels of the founders of Cars and Coffee. And now the R8. And oh, check this out. It's a Ford Rally car. Oh, look at that double suspension setup. Nice. Yeah, check under the hood. Spare tire. Cool. And here we have the uh, the Postal One. This is a this Postal One doesn't know what it wants to be. Like it's it's electric. It's a gasoline power, has a two liter supercharged and turbocharged engine. The total combined power is around 600. So there's a engine under the hood, ice engine with a turbo and a supercharger. And then there's a electric motor. And you know how cars, how called a Ferrari shows off the engine bay? Well, check out what it shows off in the trunk. Yeah. Uh, it, it looks nice and everything and the, the main problem is it, it's the price I mean this is basically a Volvo made by China and it costs as much as an Austin Martin so yeah and here's the pure EV version the Polestar 2 much better deal and check this out coming in we have a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Spider being very, very quiet to obey the, uh, the no revving rule. And there's a normal Lamborghini Aventador Spider. So that there is the FVJ, the hot one. And this is the regular production model. Yeah, regular. Yeah, I would fit in this car if I never put the roof on. If I put the roof on, yeah, my, I, I, I I'm too tall. I, I can't fit these cars. So, you know, it's, it's kind of upsetting that I would be very, very uncomfortable in this supercar. More supercars coming in. Audi R8, F430, 360, GT3, Lemony Gallardo, Huracan, Huracan Performante with nice crushed carbon fiber hood. Beautiful blue Ferrari F12. This was the last Ferrari designed by Pina Ferrana. After this car, Ferrari designed their own cars. All right, uh, another F12, a black one. Very nice F12, but an Acura NSX. A nice green with beautiful wheels. R8, little body kit up front. And ducktail spoiler. And there you see the engine with the X brace in the center of the engine, even though the engine shifted over to the left. R8 Spider convertible. Ferrari 599. Corvette C8 of a beautiful tan interior. Love this combination. Wow. 
Yeah. Uh, red C8 with a yeah, red interior, very nice. Austin Martin. Oh, a beautiful, an old Ferrari. And the Aventador uh, SVJ finally found parking. This Roy takes the next spot. So Supercar Row is almost full. Now this is one slam BMW. Yeah, you can tell it's definitely on airbags because there's no way that can drive. Mm -hmm. It can't be towed either. That's the cool thing about having airbags. S2000. There's the Renegade Porsche and the Jambella Porsche. Uh, the Renegade Porsche has a LSV8 in it. It's not open, but it's not the standard Porsche motor it's in. It's the LS. This is the Volkswagen section. We have a dune buggy bug. Another dune buggy bug. The VW micro van. These are so cool, these things. Look at that. Love these micro vans. Yeah, check, out, check out these vintage interior. Yeah. Look at that. That's the ticket right there. <laughs> Look at that bus driver steering wheel. Yeah. Natural air conditioning. That's a fan. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Natural air conditioning right here. Slam to the ground. Beautiful Jaguar. Vintage Ford. Um, wow. Nice. I guess this is being restored right now. Some nice vintage muscle here, 6.4 liter Hemi, Corvette Z06, and has a Magnuson supercharger. So the regular supercharged motor is not enough. He swapped out a bigger supercharger. Nice. Z01 Quamel convertible. Yeah, this is normally, you know, a, the track monster version of the Quamel. But not how much of a track monster you become when you take the roof off. Big track spoiler too. Great. This is the Corvette section, plus one Camaro, but mostly the Corvettes are here. Uh, Corvette from every generation. C5, I see C6s, C7, yeah. Another C6. Lots of Corvettes. Yeah, the C8 Corvettes are super cool row, but all the other Corvettes are here. Well, there's a C8 Corvette right there, and here we have the most powerful Corvette ever made. This is the uh, C7 Z01. And it's got the uh, the track edition. You can see the almost thick tires, the Cups 2. 755 horsepower. Beautiful car, beautiful car, and a giant, giant big factory wing. Yeah, there's a new C8. What's that? Mm -hmm. C5, C6 with a fuzzy dice. There you go, C5, C7. Corvette's always one of the biggest um, contributor to cars and coffee. It's Still, lots of Corvettes. So check check this thing out. What is this? Whoa. That's a wrap. I'm going to assume. Yeah, that's a wrap. But check out the carbon fiber hood and the totally done out engine. I, looks like a synthetic supercharger setup. And a, a double spoiler. That's a little nuts. And uh, they look like, you know, jet fighter exhaust. So, you know, coming out the back. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, interesting wing on the C8 here. Almost like a Corvette takeover day. 
driving up is called the Thing. The Thing by Volkswagen. Now there's a clean engine swap job. The Datsun 260, I believe. With a Chevy LS. That's right, the LS V8. Goes in anything. Oh, Challenger area, where all the Dodge Chargers and Challengers are. Dogs are welcome by cars and coffee. That's a cute one. This Camaro is unusual. Check out the wheel. <laughs> yeah, I imagine when the thing is uh, spinning, it, the pattern it creates will be pretty cool looking. More Corvettes. And check out this uh, 427 supercharged Corvette. Whoa. Yeah, got to put a hole in the hood because that thing sticks out. Gauges on the uh, outside. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Look how tall that supercharger is. They are now sending cars to the downstairs parking lot. Oh, there's the thing. Different thing from the last thing, but it's still a thing. With the windshield down. Now this is so cool. Uh, this is definitely the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it, is it is a thing, that's right, because it is a thing. <laughs> Perfect for California weather. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, sat, you don't remember it sat on the side of our house? Nice Viper. Nice Nissan GTR, a pair of them. And they look relatively stock too, which is unusual considering most GTR I've ever seen is like, you know, they're in tune to like 1500 horsepower or stuff like that. Get a listen to the exhaust of the Viper. Yeah, he's not revving it. That's just that's just how it sounds. Check out the rear view mirror setup on this Datsun Fair Lady Z. You know, most cars rear view mirror, it's on the door. This Datsun, nope. Where is it? Yep. There you go. Can you still see it? I don't know. Here we have the winner for the biggest wing at Calls and Coffee. Yeah, that, that's pretty damn big. The new Lamborghini Huracan Evo. The Evo with the V10 and you can see the engine is shifted to the left because the X-Brace is, well, the X-Brace is center. But this is a brand new Evo in a beautiful green paint, nice exhaust. Yeah, the customer picked this up only like a few weeks ago. Beautiful with the gold wheels and the blue brakes. You can see the little iPad in the center console there. Little carbon accent on the dash, very nice. But uh, it's an amazing color combination. Green, gold, and blue. I like it. This is the Evo's cousin. The Audi R8 V10, same engine as the Lamborghini, but because it's Audi, it makes less horsepower. A little taller, so more room. I fit this one, I don't fit the Lamborghini, but I fit an Audi R8. And you can see there's the same V8. It's also off-center as well, but as you can see, uh, Audi, attention to detail, they put the X-Brace directly over the engine, so it's hard to tell that's off-center. All right, let's take a look 
got this Aventador SVJ. This is Lamborghini most powerful car they ever made. The engine is off center as well too, but uh, you can tell by looking at it. So it's a <laughs> Knows the VTOL writing is off to the left where the express is center. Packaging constraint. Packaging constraint. Lots of carbon everywhere. Beautiful blue color combination. Blue and gold wheels. That's amazing. It looks amazing. Wow. Three quarters of a million bucks if you want it. Around that, around there, give or take. Uh, okay, check these out. These are Volkswagen Bug Beetle Fenders that can turn into motorcycles. Is that the cutest thing or what? That's awesome, I love it. Yeah, see, old beetles never die, the fenders get turned into motorcycles. That's a big win. That is, that is indeed a big win. And he's all from Utah. GT3 RS. And GT4 coming in. GT for fun. I like the license plate. There's a whole parking lot activity happening here. Yeah. Wide body Corvette C8. That was pretty awesome. Oh, this is also on air suspension too. Uh, you can lick your air ride. Really nice. Pretty insane wing too, I, might, I must admit. All right, so this is a, a look at South OC Cars and Coffee. It happens every Saturday from 9 to 11. We're at the San Clemente Outlet in South Orange County. If you have a car or you're a car enthusiast, you want to spend a Saturday checking out hot cars or showing off your car and, and enjoying a coffee, then come on down. We'd love to have you here. John Shelf and JohnShelf.com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my videos, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.